So I have to cut a hole into this dish dome, quarter inch thick, so this can fit into here with little gap and be able to follow that contour as this CNC machine that I have it on does not have a torch side control. So I'm gonna show you how to put these points in so it can follow this contour and cut this hole without having any torch side control. So in CAD, what we do first is we literally just drill uh, or draw a hole that's the same diameter of the, you know, the bong or whatever we put into that dish dome. Like if you're gonna look from directly atop of the dish. And then what I did is, because we have to basically go into the G code and put Z heights into each one of these um, lines of code that needs an I and J, I don't wanna to have to figure that out. I'm, I'm not that good at G code. So basically what I did was just segmented this off so I can come in here and take the first segment and basically delete all this save that as a file and then edit undo and then move on to the next segment and delete everything else that's not involved in it and i do that i have six segments on this one because it's kind of a complex curve and so i have six separate files of basically arcs and then what i do after that is i go i use sheet cam for my cam and then I just do a simple um, no offset line for that arc. And I save those as a uh, G code for each six of those segments. So then when you open the code, uh, you're, you're gonna look at, usually a sheet cam with just one arc, it's gonna give you uh, this code right here. And it's your, uh, basically your endpoint X, Y, and then your I and J, and that basically tells you know how what kind of arc to follow uh, in G code. I'm not 100% on how that works. You know, there's a lot of videos out there, or even comment in the section and explain how that works I and J, because I'm pretty sure anybody that's a seasoned G code uh, writer could could do this without having to draw it out. But then I've in inputted the Z, and so what I'm going to do is I'm starting off at basically zero, and then this Z is in reference to this endpoint. So here, it's to where it has to get to that point. So if it starts zero here, it's gonna go to that Z point right there. And then what I do is just go to my file, and then here's my hole one, hole two, and literally I just copy hole two, and then I put it in right here, hole three, or not hole, excuse me, arc, arc four, arc five, and arc six. And I start off with kind of rough numbers on Z's, just kind of knowing where I was gonna to have to end up. Um, and then what I did is I loaded it up into uh, my machine software, and I basically just came over here to where I knew where roughly those segments were, brought the torch down and saw where my Z readout is. And then I, I literally just wrote those down on a piece of paper on what se you know sections of the, the circle. And then I came back and edited the Z numbers to fit it correctly. And as you can see in the video, it, it follows it pretty close, close enough for this laser. Um, then I you know, reload the G code and cut. So this has worked out pretty well. Um, especially if you don't have torch eye control or if your torch eye control is too slow. Um, if you saw my other videos on how to put torch eye control on my other table, it has a big ring around it. And so with that ring, uh, it, this contour would have been too big for it to actually sense and adjust the height correctly. So this, in this way, I was able to cut the hole and uh, get it bang on. So. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I can help you out in the comments. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for the time.